What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Middle Earth. My name is Bloodborne, and uh, I'm going to be talking about the champ as it is currently in Minas Morgul. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these videos. Uh, I've been focusing mainly on the live stream stuff, and uh, so a lot of people have been asking for champ videos and stuff like that. So I thought I'd throw this one together for you guys and kind of give you an overview. Now keep in mind there's a couple things with the champ right now. Uh, and actually with the game overall. Uh, where it stands right now, we only have the four dungeons that are available. Uh, the four three-man dungeons that are available with Minas Morgul. Uh, the three six-mans and the raid are coming later. So builds are going to change. Uh, metas are going to change. And just expect that going forward so again this is just kind of where the champ is right now uh i will also throw this out there that you know there are definitely champs out there that are far better than i am um i've i've done pretty well for myself over the years but when it comes down to this stuff it's this is just kind of more of the basic stuff so i don't i don't get into weapon swapping and all that kind of stuff uh honestly i kind of get lost in it personally when i try to do that stuff uh, also, mainly most of my playtime is while I'm streaming. So looking at chat and then looking and seeing where I'm at in a rotation or something like that versus just the feel of it. Um, I feel like I wouldn't do it justice. And I'd probably get lost in swapping and having the correct thing uh, in place. If you feel comfortable doing weapon swapping, you can add to your DPS. You can add uh, a little bit more to your min maxing and, and really just round out your dps if you decide to do that that being said let's kind of jump in here and and take a look and we'll just immediately start off with the trade trees where i'm at right now uh still looking at yellow line although red line has some interesting prospects into it with some of the changes that have happened with Minas morgul it's still just not quite there as far as the maximum output in my opinion mainly because you don't have as much uh, of the utility that yellow line gives you even if you you know if you go red line and then you kind of jump into the yellow traits a little bit more it still just doesn't give you the same versatility as if you're a pure yellow and then going in with the red so a couple little notes here with this setup uh, you'll notice that I actually do not have any of the finesse in here. Uh, and mainly the big reason for that is if we look at our character panel right now, uh, we're at 239,665 finesse, which is 27.6%. Uh, getting close to that 30% mark uh, from what I've experienced in the content that I've done. I've done some tier fives uh, and lots of twos and threes. And that has been fine. The miss rate, the avoidance rate is not that high. Um, so I don't feel like it's necessary for me to spend the five points here when I can get some other bonuses and some of the other uh, virtues here. Or the other traits, I should say. Uh, pretty pretty standard stuff here. Again, like the, the traits have not changed a lot for the champ uh, over the years. A lot of the stuff is the same as some of the previous videos. Maybe a slightly different configuration, but nothing too crazy. Um, one of the other things, I, I kind of dance around this one. Blade of Courage, sometimes I'll have it in, sometimes I won't have it in. Uh, it just depends on the content I'm doing. Uh, more recently, really since Anvil, I have not had that in. So you can kind of leave that out of your build. Uh, some of the things that I definitely like to take out of the red line, though, are my crit chance, the additional 5%. Um, I do also like to have wild swings maxed out so I get my plus 5% for 10 seconds on that crit chance uh, alongside the plus 25% wild attack damage. I use wild attack as a builder a lot, so it gives me the extra 5%, and then I'm getting the extra 5% from the base uh, melee crit chance right here so when you're looking at this and you're looking at your character and you're saying okay well my crit rating right now is you know it's at 19.2 percent 
Well, if I factor in the 5% I get from Redline, I'm at 24.2%. And then I'm also getting uh, the proc from Wild Attack. That gives me another five. So I'm, I'm pushing right around 30%. Now, ideally, we'd be floating around 35% with that. And that would be a pretty sweet spot. You figure it doesn't really mathematically work out that every third attack is going to be a crit. Uh, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. Now, in the grand parse, it kind of lands about there um so if we, if we look at uh back in our red line here uh try to make sure you can get down to controlled burn uh, i like having that one and then also having uh ferocious strikes in there it is nice to have some single strike skills in there uh, in a situation where you're you are yellow line but you cannot be hitting additional targets uh trying to place yourself with some of your frontal AOEs works sometimes, but it is nice to have some additional single strike skills. And you could argue that we could go with brutal strikes and put that back in there to gain the additional one. But again, that's a pretty situational tactic. Uh, and then also throw in second wind. Uh, this has been a little bit more of a, a need uh, with, what is that, Gorthad Noor uh, in the Barrow lot of power drains in there so rather than burning through all your power pots just having second wind in there is great now i don't always run second wind there are sometimes i will respec and take those points and i'll put them in someplace else depending on the content and what the need is uh leaving it one build for every situation may work for you it may not uh for me it has not worked so that's why i have four different builds and but this is this is the main one i use most of the time uh and also that is giving me a little bit more vitality um if you're going to be needing more vitality i would probably do it through gear rather than uh wasting the trade points on it because you need to be doing damage that's your job also the argument is if you're dead you can't dps so uh, this is where I leave it. It's kind of a nice mix. You're getting 5,700 vitality out of that, uh, alongside your 12,247 might and the might increase in yellow and all of your bonuses from there. Cool. So that's where we are with that build. Uh, if we look at our virtues, mainly I do this part with almost every build that I do, unless I'm purely going glass cannon. Uh, I go with the higher tactical mitigation payouts. Uh, try your best to get these up to 65. Uh, it will, it'll help you out quite a bit. You're not going to have to spend as much in essences to get that tactical mitigation up there for those higher tier dungeons and raid. So what I end up using is a mix of compassion, fidelity, honor, tolerance, and innocence. Um, the ones, my primary ones that I use are all 65 and then I'm just letting the other ones level up through doing the content. All right. So if you'll notice that does put me at, uh, fourth or 426,000 physical mitigation, which is 48%, uh, and 121,000, uh, is just, just shy of 20%. Um, now this is still a little bit lower than I would want it. Uh, I'm currently in the process of making a couple swap pieces to actually get the tactical mitigation up higher, uh, for some of the things like Gorthad Noor and, uh, Eiffel Guire, the, uh, filth well, because those do have a lot more tactical damage in them. And I do need to get that up a little bit higher. Most of the gear that you're seeing here is crafted, uh, with the exception of some of the jewelry. Some of the jewelry is uh, from drops and from quests. So like this helmet right here, the 414 crafted one is I believe the best DPS one that you can get right now. There might be some of the situation. Actually, that is the best one that you can get right now. I don't think there's any helms that are currently dropping out of either the 130 um, Arid Mithran stuff or out of the Minas Morgul stuff. So I believe this is still the best you can get at 414 right now on the crit. Um, now, when you start getting into your purple gear, that is where you start getting some pieces that are 
uniquely different in the drops from the dungeons versus what you can craft. And it really comes down to what you're looking to do with your build. For me, I'm, I really, tr <laughs> this is going to sound terrible. I really trust my healers and my tanks. So I try to push the DPS side of it as much as I can before I need to start doing defensives. Uh, it does tend to make them work a little bit harder, but we like to kill stuff faster. So I tend to try to do that stuff first and foremost before I do anything else. Now I did do something a little bit different this time around rather than last time. Uh, I did go primarily, I think all of my essences uh, are physical mastery rating at the moment. I might have one crit. There's one crit in there right now. Um, yeah, everything else is physical mastery. So if we look at our offensive stuff right now, like I said, the crit rating just standing here completely unbuffed is at 24.2%. Uh, finesse is at 27.6%. And our physical mastery puts us at 139.1% damage. Um, from doing some of the tier fives, and, and whatnot. And I have done the tier fives in this build. Some of them are a little bit tougher to do because of that tactical mitigation that I don't have currently. But again, like I said, make some swap pieces. Uh, that is actually a really good thing to do long-term is to have swap pieces for those situa situational things that you might run into. Something like, you know, if you're doing harrowing a Morgul, you, you really don't need the tactical mitigation. You can go in there and just pound and pound and pound and it's fine um you go into filth well and you're gonna be taking a lot of damage you're gonna be taking a ton of damage so it is a good idea i still actually do have uh the cloak uh from the tier 5 dungeons that still has all the gladden mirror um tier 12 tactical mitts in there it's actually the will one uh, thanks, old Benny, for that one. Uh, so it's got a ton of tactical mitigation on there that I can throw on there if I need that extra boost in it. Uh, and then real quick, let's talk about weapons. Weapons really haven't changed too, too much. Um, there's a couple relic differences, but nothing too, too crazy. It's not like we're swapping out legacies. Uh, they haven't, you know, substituted anything out. So we're still looking... Uh, at some of the same stuff. The tiers have gone up to 83 uh, and uh, 67 on the DPS side of things. So you can see with my stuff, we still have Rend Armor Reduction, uh, Ferocious Strikes cooldown with the damage bonus on it, the Battle Frenzy cooldown with the Physical Mastery bonus, the Crit Damage Multiplier, the AoE Skill Damage, uh, the Fear Nothing cooldown. This does come in really handy right now with the uh, Tactical Mitigation uh dungeons like Ithel Guire and uh Gorthad Noor those uh they do put out removables so having that down to what is it 15 seconds yeah 15 seconds that's pretty good uh so you're not burning all your consumables a ton uh and then also having your red melee damage up there that one is great as well uh the rune has also not changed a whole lot um, just having your support stuff in there. So blade wall damage is pretty good right now. Blade wall is pretty strong. Uh, having your raging blade damage in there, fury of blades damage, blade wall, um, exchange of blows, melee damage, all those bonuses that when you're popping controlled burn, great cleave, exchange of blows, and then true heroics. If you pop on all those during your fight, you're going to be maximizing your damage output. Um, you can offset those also to keep it leveled out versus a big spike of damage and then reducing it. But over the long haul, it tends to be okay because of how quickly they're coming off a cooldown. Um, so those are the big things right now. The relics that we're using, uh, we're using the Grand Veils, a lot of the Grand Veil stuff because that was actually pretty strong. Uh, and then the last alliance rune of force because the the rune situation is still not that great for um, class items. There, it's okay for weapons because you actually can get the uh, like I have the greater winter stith rune of striking from the raid, um, which is bumping your crit rating up and that base damage modifier, which is huge. So 
other than that, it's still Grand Vale stuff for me. Um, I haven't found something that I've really liked. But as with anything in one of these videos, if any of you guys are doing something a little bit different, you see something that's uh, that could be done differently that you like, feel free to throw it in the comments too, because I like hearing about that stuff. And, and there are changes that happen in the game that aren't very widespread. Like not everybody knows about it or something somebody catches in a parse. They're like, well, this isn't working. Take this out of your rotation because it's a waste. Those things are great to share with the community and myself included. I don't know all those things and it is great to, to come across them. So if you see any of that here in the video, uh, make sure you throw it down in the comments and let us know about it. You can also share it over on discord and all that good stuff. Uh, and also if you see stuff like that, make sure you're submitting that as feedback on the forum so that we can get it fixed. Um, I say we like I have anything to do with it, but uh, make sure that the devs have an opportunity to, to get that fixed when they make those passes on the classes. Um, but again, these videos are not meant to be, uh, this is exactly how you do it to maximize as I, my min maxing days are, are pretty, pretty much over. Uh, that was four or five years ago, uh, at the, at the earliest, you know, I, I don't have as much time as I used to. So a lot of these are, Hey, I'm, I just hit 130. What should I do? Or, you know, I'm going to be running AOE. What, uh, what traits should I be looking at? This should always be more of a basic guideline, not an end all be all. This is the way it is. Uh, and as with anything, it is subject to change too. very quickly. Things break, things change. Uh, things fall out of the meta. It just happens. So, uh, as with anything, if you see something that's off or wrong, please let me know and we'll adjust it as best we can. And that's going to do it for this one. If you guys aren't currently following over on Twitch, I do stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 PM Eastern time. Make sure you head over there and check those out. Catch me live. Uh, make sure you're also hitting up all the other social media. There is Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and then we also have the discord groups as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you have any feedback, shoot it my way so we can get stuff fixed and, uh, I will see you guys next time. Take care.